What is up guys, it's Lee and Sam here from Ugly Sofa Gaming. Today we're looking at a Kony, which appears to be Japanese. And it says Sekiro. You've heard of Sekiro, right? Yeah, I don't know anything about it other than you taking the mick out of it. Shh, don't tell the internet that. The internet loves Sekiro. <laughs> <laughs> and so do I! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice. Licky pigtails. If I, if I was a girl, I'd have pigtails. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I really like the, uh, the prom dress. Uh, just, just slide right yeah, over there. <laughs> the prom dress and trainer combo. I like that look. Yeah, so deflect is our one. Ha! Nice. Very nice. Uh, hold that. Back to base. Walk, run. Show controls. R2 is a dash attack. Nice. Uh, I want to attack, triangle is healing, X is dodge. <laughs> the pigtail's getting a bit much, don't they? Uh, camera, lock on bar free, target change. Okay, let's give this a go. They call me a jack. Oh, it's this guy. This guy? Do you know him? Yeah. Oh, wow. Good combat system. Not bad little combat system. I can do a little bit of healing. Okay, yeah. The healing animation especially looked a lot like a From Software game. So you can deflect. I'm gonna try and parry this guy. So there is a power system, I did not nail it, which is <laughs> probably one of the reasons I don't like Sakura. Um, <laughs> okay, you press down on the right stick and it switches targets. If I sneak up on one, can I do a backstab? Yeah. What about this guy? Try again. A little bit of a dash tag. Fight music is very chill, isn't it? Yeah, well, she's very confident against these guys. She reckons up with the horns on her face. She's some sort of demon. Maybe. She looks like Carrie. She's just come from prom, doesn't she? She's mm. found a samurai sword. <laughs> Seeking vengeance. And a pair of Chuck Taylors. <laughs> Ooh. That's nice. Gives you a little visual indication you can't block that attack. Take hints from software. <laughs> oh no, I'll just work it out, trial and error. Level two. Don't go there yet. Please. No, you gotta do level one first. <sighs> That's just typical. Doors are open, look. <clears throat> so, level one. Zero deaths. Hello there. Hello. Look at that. Got nothing. What's the second bar? Is it like stamina? Uh, yes. But it doesn't go down when you... Attack. It's... Oh, it's your guard block, I think. You can only like defend so many times? That seems crazy. Alright. Did go up though when I was blocking. Oh, you got smushed. That fixed it. The guy seemed to break my guard, and then my guard uh, 
covered for some reason. I think if you block at the last second, you recover it. Oh, uh, it's like a perfect block. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Whereas if you hold it, <laughs> it'll drain it. It'll wear you down, yeah. So you're, you're, you're not cheating. Taking, you're not taking damage, but you're not fighting perfectly. Exact. This is uh, this is pretty fun. And a bit of confidence. Honestly, probably one of the better combat systems in Dreams. Again, whenever I find something cool like this, I always point out that if the person who made this was so inclined, he could share this combat system with everyone. Oh, hey. He could share the combat system with everyone. That's a dodge. And then all the hard work's done for the next person who picks this up and... If they want to make their own fighting game, they want to throw a different story on it, a different character on it, you're off and away. So this is, uh, what, Dream's been there four days now? Yes. This yeah. is what Dream's looks like after four days. Of course, there's been an early access and everything. But just imagine what this game's going to look like in a year. So if this combat system got released for everyone, if everyone starts making games like this, it's nuts, and that's the difference at the end of the day between this and something like Unity or a, a traditional game engine. It's the collaboration and stuff. So it's only going to get more and more impressive as we go on. Might be a point of diminishing returns, but we have not got anywhere close to it yet. This is so fun to play. I'm actually good at it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's oh, a trap! It's a trap! But once. <gasps> oh, phew. <sighs> and big boys. interesting to, to me because uh, usually when you're bad at games I've got more stuff to talk about and <laughs> take the mick out of you and you can just talk about how impressed you are right now I mean I am do you but... think you made a good decision marrying me after watching this performance oh I thought with the dream I'm impressed with the dream <laughs> oh not my uh... this guy's a little bit more challenging That door is shut. Oh, it's Sushi over there. Yeah, it probably opens after you kill this last enemy. You're so savvy. Bush. You like jacket potatoes? I don't. Is that what you're thinking for lunch? Yeah. Nah, they're um, a boring food for boring people. <laughs> okay. I would much rather have a <laughs> Would you be sweet enough to make me a different lunch? <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Not after that, no. Uh, I did mess up, guys. <laughs> this, this is going added to my um, my next 50 favorites list. Yeah. This is awesome. It's a combat system that works, it doesn't feel janky. If they hit me, it's fair, it's because I've made a mistake. Oh, uh -oh. dear, new enemy. Oh! 
think these guys were made by Electroform. I'm not sure though. Ah, damn. That uh, remind me who's Electroform? Um, his creator has made lots of different characters. Um, but he passed away recently. Really? I'll have to check, but I think these are his. That's, um... Or hers, I'm not sure. I haven't heard about that. If it, if it is true, that's it's nuts that like this person. Oh my god, I don't know. person like you know spend time they've, they've shared these things with people and now other people are making games from them. It's, um, it's really nice in a way. Bit of a legacy. I just can't believe I haven't heard about that. Oh, I'm gonna die. If I back up this food over here, put some food in there. Oh, I've got one. I need to I need to somehow get past this guy. Nothing was gonna do that. <coughs> I need your sense of. I don't know, I've got it. <laughs> so, when was the beta out? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, early access started in, I think it was April 2019. So, the the beta was, I think, before that Christmas, maybe. So, uh, it was like December 2018, something like that, maybe. Yeah, so um, these goblins are made in the early access then. <clears throat> I can honestly say this is one of the, uh, there's, there's been a few others, but this is, this is like one of the first streams that I full on want to like, I could play this for hours, I could like, if there was a story, because I'm all about the plot and the story. Um, I'd be all over this. This is really, really good. I'm very impressed with it. Much better than Sekiro. <laughs> mm. Oh, boss fight! You watching this? Yeah. Oh, look at this guy. Ooh, I did not. Oh, I've got no health. Oh, that's clever. So that rice hat was made by another creator. I think the rice hat's fairly new. Oh, I'm so nervous. I don't want to mess this up. I don't know what happens if you die. Oh, I got greedy. The trick is to not get greedy. I should know this. You're so bad with boss fights and dreams. You really do. Nobody doesn't have like a final form or something. You take. But again, this all feels super fair. I won't be saying that if I lose, I'll be like, that was bullshit. <laughs> yeah, they are um, just checked on in dreams.me and they were definitely uh, Electroforms creations. And if they definitely passed away. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. Um, he passed away June 29th. I 
it sounds like hokey when you said legacy and stuff, but it literally is that. Um, it's not that someone's taken it's what is his art, basically, and um, they've made something that, you know, that we're, I'm sat here, like, currently having fun with. Yeah. What really did that make you think? close. Oh, nice. <sighs> They'll probably give everyone S rank if you complete it. Nah, that was all bad skill. I didn't die once. I didn't die. How long have we gone this video? Uh, 16 minutes. 16. Can I do the next level? Um, yeah, let's give it a go. Yeah, do it. Level 2. Oh, and they'd be nice enough to give me some health. Ah, uh, I remember you guys. That was a different one in the distance. Yeah, they introduced this enemy near the end of the first level. As like, you know, a harder version, and now he's like the base enemy. Yeah. Which is good game design. Scary enough. Very good game design, which is something James means a little bit more of. What do you do, friend? He's got this big stick. He's gonna poke you. Okay, so yeah, you attack some twos. Oh, and then freeze. He was tough. Just gonna do it from behind. <laughs> ah! He was shook. <laughs> you could tell. Oh, I did not dodge out of the way that. Oh, well, actually, that's like a little buffy kick up. Can't tell, but do you reckon I do more damage from behind? Because that would also be like clever. Don't know. Getting any controls? Healing, dodge, deflect, dash attack. No. Really good, like sound effects and stuff, and the combat music coming in and out. I really can't say enough good things about this one. I can feel myself like getting better at it as well. This guy started to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Two skeletons. Is he like, like trying lure one and now, the other? Yeah, this is a souls, a souls like trick. You have to aggro one of them. So it's like one. Oh no! Oh, I aggroed the wrong one! <laughs> This is bad. This is real bad, guys. <laughs> Do they have one combined health bar, though? No. It's just because he's the last one I've attacked. Oh, right, so he's switching. And... Oh, man. Oh, I don't want to give up that S rank. Oh, I see that guy. He came for me then. Like he knew. Ah, oh, the demolition man. One more swipe. Oh, it's manageable. Yeah. 
Oh boy, not looking good though. The Pokemon. Is he Pokemon? He is Pokemon. Skeleton boy. I did hear something on like Twitter the other day or Reddit or something where it's like people like uh, are making like really cool dreams, but like in Japan they're making like ridiculous dreams and we just don't know about it yet. We played that really good horror one, which um, I can't remember. What was it called? Was it something in time or something like that? Well, there was two. There was that one, and then there was one which was like way more scary. But because of the language barrier, I didn't really understand how to play it. Oh man, he's got me. He's got me. I'm done. Was that the one where you're sort of collecting things in this really dark room? Yeah, and there was like a candle and stuff, and die or resurrect. resurrect. Ooh, that apparent. There's a new one, isn't there? There's a, um, in the trending list at the moment, there's a new horror game that I want to try. Really? Try that. Yeah. So I don't know what the whole die or resurrect thing was about. I guess maybe if you want to restart the entire level. Yeah, try and get the S rank. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Ooh. Check the other side of the bushes. Secret, I know, yeah. Here he is. Oh, what are you? You're new. Oh, I don't like him at all. See, that's funny because if this was like a character selection out of all the goblins, I think that's the one you'd probably choose to play as. Yeah, I would, but I don't like fighting it. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's a little rogue, isn't he? Yeah. A little rascal. And you like uh, dual wielding knives. Wind up's tricky. Oh, Dan, you got me. You get me every time with that. Pin yourself off, goblin. You did. Uh oh. Oh, they got foods. Yeah. So I've got to try and lure them away from- Oh, can I just aggro one of them? Yes, that makes it. things a lot easier. At least they're slow-ish. No, when they come down with that hammer, it's actually deceptively fast. I saw someone complaining the other day, it's like, yeah, like, Dreams is, like, interesting or whatever, but these, like, games that people are making, I've, I've played them for, like, ten minutes and then I've never, like, looked at it again. It's like, well, I would definitely replay this. Replay, and then they add levels to these things as well, so they're in, like, constant oh, development. You got me. Yeah, like, on a rainy day, I'd replay this. I'd follow this creation so that, um... Yeah, so that when the new, new levels come out and stuff, I'd be uh, I'd be excited about playing like a sequel to this if I heard the guy was making one. Ooh. Broke my lock. There we go. 
Like some people are just way off base with like the quality of stuff in this game. But I'm having more fun playing this than I did playing like friggin' Assassin's Creed Odyssey, not Odyssey, um, Origins. The fact that someone who's not like a professional developer made it, probably, um, it enhances my enjoyment of it. I think a lot of people wouldn't be keen that there aren't trophies for playing. Well, some people are just orientated that way. That's it, yeah. Some people are collectors of trophies. Um, there are dreams trophies, but they're all based around creation and community more than anything. So not just making stuff, but sharing other people's things and uh, damn, giving that. feedback and liking things. So giving feedback, like and liking things, that does encourage you to play levels, doesn't it? Oh shoot, I pressed die instead of resurrect. God damn. Oh, that's frustrating. Yeah, like what are the inquests? You've had more time looking at those than me. Does does some of those encourage you to play stuff? So yeah, I saw one actually, which was like, oh, make sure you um, uh, it was like do your own ancient times level and then play someone else's. Yeah. And you know, share creations with people as well. I think is one, and um, there's definitely feedback, like, and um. Curation as well, it's, I, I guess curation is another form of creation because you're creating collections, but we've done a lot of collections and we haven't really made anything. Um, no. It's making a games library for other people more than anything else, so that's... That's such a joy as well, because when you find fun stuff like this and you, when you're just making big collections of games, it's just fun and it's, it's a collection we can refer back to. Um, It does make things easier actually to follow. Um, the following system in Dreams isn't very good in my opinion. No. I think it, because you can follow so many people, we follow quite a lot of creators and creations, and you get there is a following feed you can look through. It's but not it's, good. It, Everyone's pretty much in agreement that the following feed needs retooling. So you can make your own sort of collection of Dreams to follow. You can check back up on for updates. Things don't go, get lost that way. You want to add to the complexity of this, what this might need is like a leveling up system, so enemies get tougher, that you can like level up your attack damage and, and stuff like that. Yeah, or um, armor or something. Yeah, this base, this is uh, really good. Improve your stamina bar. Oh man. Zeke wanna shoot a zag. I'm gonna rush it now. Ah, oh, we have to fight those two enemies. level up in dreams by just playing yeah um so if you were just to spend all of your time playing and not creating you would level up which yeah. would get you trophies like playstation trophies in the end that's true there are levels level based trophies but i think there's inquests for it definitely
Secret uh, thief goblin behind here, wasn't there? Yeah. That guy wrecks me every time. Big swing. He's really quick as well. Probably should only attack once. I don't like the winder guy. The winder potato this guy has. That one gets me. Oh, did it. I definitely encourage everyone to go find the stream and follow it. You always put a link in the description. And um, slowly but surely, Everson Streams comes out. We made a collection of our favourites from the early access. Boys. Fucking in the butt. This is death, but we're, gonna, we're starting a new collection of favourites. Um, their next 50 favorites basically. This is definitely going to be uh, in one of mine. So smooth, it just works. <laughs> Use the um, silly uh, Todd Phillips quote. Hmm. You're laughing, do you know what that means? No. Nope. <laughs> just Nervous. that you're using silly quotes? Nervous chuckle. <laughs> It was a quote he said about, oh damn, I need that food. <laughs> block, block, block. It was a quote he said about Fallout 76, which everyone made fun of. It was like, it just works. It just works. It <laughs> didn't. <laughs> mm. Oh, I've got my iron for those guys now, they're nothing. Alright, I think we're caught up almost, aren't we? Today. Oh, it's gonna get you. Oh shit. Right, so press resurrect rather than die. Resurrect. Oh, I mean give you a chance. Yeah. No honor. It's still moving. Goblins have no honor. Oh my god! Is he not dead? Is he a secret one? Like the bushes? I think so. Stealthy. That is very from software as well. They love doing that sort of bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, he's dead. Goblins. Ooh. Watch the bushes. Oh yeah, you're not you're not wrong. Oh, you're literally not wrong. There he is. <laughs> Absolute asshole. <laughs> I'll follow the game designer. That's spot on. So bad at fighting these. Alright, this is a new boy as well. Oh, yeah. How do you work? Oh, there's some lunch behind you. I didn't know that. Oh man, I have to dodge at the last second. Oh, I'm not good. <laughs> Oh, it's just like a massive attack. Alright, need to be careful. Resurrect. Resurrect. They need to give you a bit of time to resurrect. You a bit mean. To be fair, there are like, um... There did seem to be like frame throws and invincible, so... Yeah. But they are... They, they do know what they're doing. Cannot avoid that. Oh, 
Remember, you got a lunch to eat. You're alive. No, I'm not making you a lunch. Oh, please. No, I'm gonna eat a boring potato because I'm, I'm a boring person. <laughs> I'm sorry I called you boring. <laughs> I really love the sound effect when you parry as well. Okay, this has got to be the boss, right? No? Gosh. <laughs> See oh, yeah. Sneaky you'd have thing. gone over to that spearman, he'd have got you on the way. Yeah. See you real quick as well. Mm. You're not gonna make it. I can't dodge him. He, he wears down your. You can't. You don't dodge quick enough away from him, and he wears down your blocks. So you have to be doing perfect blocks against him, which is hard because he's quick. Him. Just glad they're regenerous with the respawns, otherwise this would be a pain in the bum. This is like, like, oh, well, Mini Marcus campaign is only two hours long, like, you know, it's not enough to justify. How long have we been playing this game now? Uh, about 40 minutes. 40 minutes! People are like, oh, can you, can you make full games in Dreams? Is it just vertical slices? And it's like, well, you know, this isn't a full game, but I've just been playing it for 40 minutes and it's it's been fun. It's one of thousands of creations. Yeah, literally. <laughs> oh, come on. For that one, you have to properly dodge away. Oh, because he has a. He has like a sweeping one and then like a lunge. So the sweeping one you just have to back the heck up. There's the that one you can dodge to the left and get some attacks in. There is a lot of fault behind the enemies. Mm. This is definitely a boss, this is like a little boss fog. Boss fog. Oh, oh no. boss music. No lunches, do we? Oh wait, you've got full health. The duck. <laughs> wow. I wonder if you can resurrect in uh, boss land. Oh, I hope so. No chance. Yeah, you can. We're just gonna cheese it. <laughs> <laughs> Although, judging what my rank's gonna be for this level, no um, S rank this time. Again. I'm gonna keep plugging away at him. <laughs> you have infinite lives. Yeah, the guy wanted to make it more challenging to always have like a life system, but it's kind of tricky with something like dreams because you don't want to frustrate the player. Very easy for people just to click away and find yeah, something else. Definitely. You have to give them incentive to finish. I can't say if I'd have to restart this level over and over again, I don't know if I'd still be playing this now. I might have come back to it, but I wouldn't still be playing this video. 
So it's something to think about if you're watching this and you're designing your own dream. Um, is, you know, having the integrity of making like a, a realistic game and then there's also you've got to keep people's attentions and it's not a traditional game, it's a different format and you have to consider that. I saw one peop uh, person who was complaining that like not enough people have played his level and then someone was pointing out that like, well, you know, the, the start of it can be quite difficult. Yeah. And it's like, oh, it's really not that difficult to see any games. And it's like, yeah, but again, you've got to remember your platform. This is like, if Streams is the YouTube of gaming, you've got to remember any second someone can get bored and cross off your creation and play something else. Mm -hmm. Nearly got him. Get my hand in as well. Done. Oh! Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh. C. That's uh, fair. That's a passing grade. It's very fair for seven deaths. Thank you for playing. That's all we got time for today. Very, very, nice. very good stuff. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. We are Ugly Surfer Gaming and we upload new videos Monday to Friday from Dreams Early Access. If you like our content, please hit the subscribe button, like the video, leave a comment, share the video on your favourite corner of the internet. Any one of those things really helps us out. Thank you very much.